Hey guys, RPM here. Hope you're all doing well and having a really great day. In this video, I just want to answer a simple question, which I got in an email and they asked, Red Panda, why do ASIC miners cost so much? And I replied back, obviously, with a pretty big answer. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to make a video about it because I think this is a question that a lot of people either ask or have on their mind, but they do fully understand why. But maybe they want to get the answer from me. And I'm just going to give you guys my opinion and my perspective of why ASIC miners cost so much right now. And uh, more so, it did cost even more <laughs> last year in 2021. And hopefully you guys know, you guys can understand why, right? Relative to what the prices of the of crypto are, like Bitcoin, for instance, and the S19Js or S19J Pros or all those different models, you know, these were going up for quite a lot. And so I just wanted to give some numbers of, of how much these things cost before, like before the run up of Bitcoin and also maybe the middle and then what the prices of these things are now today as of recording, which is February 24th of 2022. So... This is a very simple video. Hopefully you guys enjoy. And I just wanted to start off with, you all know that I do cover ASIC miners uh, for the past two years. I think my first ASIC was the L3 plus, right? I have a playlist called ASIC adventures and yeah, I've gone through my crypto mining journey into ASICs has definitely been a fun one. And I've learned a lot about ASICs. I love covering them in terms of, you know, how much they make. Like how much they actually make and like i've never made like like a clickbait video regarding you know oh this asic miner makes 400 dollars a day and i don't even have one in my hands but every asic miner like asic video that i talk about i i talk about it actually having it and showing you guys the exact profitability that i made personally throughout those days and so you guys know i've played with the l3 plus i played with the and miner z15 i've had the let's see in silicon a10 pro I think five gigabyte and seven gigabyte models and also the Ivy link BMK one, uh, which is actually dead right now. It, I think the power supply burned up, burned. And then also I've played around with Bitcoin ASIC miners, uh, notably the what's miner M32. All right. That was my first Bitcoin ASIC miner. And that thing was awesome, but extremely loud. And uh, you guys knew, I, you guys know, I, I gave that away. Uh, I think last year sometime. And yeah, I've had a lot of other ASIC miners like Gold Shell, Mini Doges. Uh, I had S19J, a 100, ter 100 Teramash model. Um, I had the Voss Coin Edition, Gold Shell, Mini Doge. Uh, what else? I, I, yeah, I've had a lot of different ASICs over the past year. And just to go through, you know, looking at ASICminervalue.com, I'm sure this is a website that a lot of people go to just to see the general profitability of an ASIC miner. And there are a lot of different ASICs out there. And I'd have to say in the past last year, a lot of ASICs have come out out of the woodwork because things are have things have been so extremely profitable. And you guys probably understand why things have been profitable. It's because the market of cryptocurrency as a whole has just gone parabolic basically. And it's been really high and just to correlate to like the network difficulties of all these proof of work coins that are ASIC mineable out there, they haven't gone up the same as what the prices of crypto have, if that makes sense. And so that's why profitability is still extremely good. Uh, let's say for example, the L3 plus, okay. It's, it's not as nice right now, uh, but this is at 10 cent kilowatt hour. So, I mean, that's pretty good for an ASIC miner that came out in like 2017. All right. And I, I have one of these, I have one of these L3 pluses and they are still, they're still generating about $86 a day, which is uh, 86 cents a day, man, 86, $86 would be amazing. Uh, 86 cents a day, right? At one point last year, Litecoin or Bitcoin, everything was so high, right? I think Litecoin went up to $400 or something. And so an L3 plus was generating, I think at most like 15, I think $20 a day at one point, but then, you know, these L3 pluses at one point, they used to cost like 50 bucks. If you guys remember at uh, one point in time before the run up of Bitcoin, right? L3 pluses were being sold off the market because they were extremely unprofitable. Litecoin had a halving and it just, it just obliterated the profitability. So a lot of people were liquidating their L3 pluses and they were like going for like 25, 50 bucks each with the power supply. And lo and behold, nowadays these L3 pluses go for 
I think 500 to a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars or something crazy. So to go talk about okay, just why ASIC miners are have been so expensive, and okay, let's just look look at the S19 Pro. Okay, S19 a Bitmain at miner S19 Pro 110. So this video I made back in November 24th of 2020. This video I was showcasing the Z15, but Looking at Crypto Miner Bros, you could have bought the 110 terahash model for $4,875 USD, right? So November 24th, 2020, let's go look at the Bitcoin price back then, which was about 17,000 USD. Bitcoin was 17,000. So lo and behold, you can see here, <laughs> the price of Bitcoin just kept going up and up and up all the way to, I think 65, 60,000 in the first peak back in March, 2021 around here. So also April as well. And during this time, I remember ASIC miners, especially the S19J, the price of these things were going up towards 13, 14, $15,000 each. Just to show you here, uh, like let's just say S19, they, they don't sell the S19 Pro anymore. It's like the S19J Pro, which is probably the most popular one right now. And, you know, looking at ASIC miner value, which you can see a lot of the stores that sell these ASIC miners. And you guys know Crypto Miner Bros, they sponsor my channel, as uh, you all know. They've sent me these ASIC miners uh, that you see in my playlist here. And I've covered a lot of different ASIC miners from them. And you can see here right now, average price looking at a S19J Pro is around $10,000. $10,000, $9,000. Looks like we got some other... A little bit lower priced ASIC miners over here, ASIC miner market, akminer.com, $9,000 used, okay, $9,000 used. But I remember even the past year when Bitcoin was extremely high, you know, $50,000, $60,000, they were going up pretty penny, sometimes $17,000, $16,000 for an S19J Pro. And so here we are today looking at how much they cost now right? $10,000, $9,000. And so hopefully you guys understand why the prices change of these ASIC miners all the time. It's because it, it basically follows the prices of the coins and also what the profitability is of these things. And, you know, looking at the, there is an ROI calculation tab here on ASIC miner value. And it's like, you can see here, if you bought an S19 J Pro now, the 104 terahash version, you'd ROI in like a thousand days, like three years as of right now. And the Bitcoin network hash rate and difficulty continues to rise. And so if the price of Bitcoin, let's say, for example, just stays the same at 38K, you can see here, this S19J Pro makes about $10 a day after $7 electric, 736 electric, which is really high. Like these ASIC miners, you guys know, they, they take 3,000, 3,100 watts. It's, it's a lot. I have one myself and I'm a residential miner. I'm not an industrial commercial miner. And so if you are going to be ASIC mining at home, there are a lot of things to consider, such as the heat, the noise, and also the power. The biggest thing is the power. You got to have the like power infrastructure in place, like a 240 volt, 30 amp plug. You got to have the PDU to handle this you know, C13 to C14, or most likely uh, you get a, there's like a C13 or C14 to C19 cable, splitter cable, and you got to worry, you got to make sure you have the 14 gauge because you want to have the thickness of the cable that can handle 15 amps at 240 volts, which I think is around uh, almost 3,300 watts or so. So you want to, you want to make sure you have good industrial size cables, PDUs, wires, everything to run these types of things because they take a lot. That, that, this, this is a lot of power. This is like three portable air conditioners, I think, or two, depending if it's like 1500 watts or 1000 watt air conditioners. It's crazy, right? It's crazy that these ASIC might take a lot. And so if you're going to do it at home, you just have to be mindful of basically those three things, which is power, heat, and the sound, which is a big one, actually. So yeah, the prices of these things are ridiculous. But just to show you, right, S19 Pro used to be 4,800 back in November 24th of 2020 when things were just starting to ramp up. Actually, I remember even earlier in 2020, like I think February or January or even before that, you could buy an S19, uh, an S19 Pro 110 terahash for about 3,500, 
right? There was a point in time when those ASICs actually were all a lot cheaper. All of these ASICs, all of these, ASICs, even the Z15 was going for $26.99. And man, that would have been one hell of a deal because I remember, I think I made a video about the Z15. And I think I paid off that Z15 within like four months. Uh, I think I have a video about that somewhere. Uh, yeah, here we go. My Bitmain Z15 paid itself off as a residential miner. Four months. It took four months to break even on that Z15. And yeah, that video explains how or how much I, I got it at that time. It wasn't 2600. I think it was about 3500 USD at the time. And it essentially mined itself about $35,000, $34,000, including electric of that money in terms of what it was mining Equihash uh, coin like pirate chain and zcash and uh, a couple other Equihash coins that are asic mineable so i mean yeah there are plenty of other asic miners out there you all know and the prices of them are just ridiculous actually there's one i want to talk about which is the l7 bitmain l7 this is probably one of the most coveted asic miners that i've been hearing for the past year and a lot of people really wanted one and uh, some people got it actually there's a gentleman d miners good old d miners he actually received his l3 plus as a recording three days ago sorry l7 uh the l3 plus in my head uh, he's got a video here unpacking it and i think he's gonna have a review video of this thing which is pretty sick so guys uh, i'll have d miners link down below go subscribe to him he's gonna have like a profitability video i think and like hash rate test and yeah look at this thing it looks like a typical like s19 right s19j or something so it's it looks pretty standard asic miner body uh from bitmain and so but yeah this thing is is pretty monster right i think 90 let's see how much uh 9500 giga hash no, 9500 mega hash 9.5 giga hash on the script algorithm which is for litecoin and then you can merge mine dogecoin a lot of people don't understand i would say a lot of people this year have come about knowing that dogecoin is the script coin but to be honest litecoin miners like these l7s and the l3 pluses they all they were always about litecoin initially and then you you mine litecoin and then you merge mine dogecoin that is how you get both coins at the same time and so i, I think I, I heard a lot of people just talking about like yeah i I want to get a Dogecoin miner and it's like no man it's it's Litecoin it's a Litecoin miner and you're merge mining Dogecoin you're getting both that way hopefully people can understand that but I get it some people that got into the market this year or even last year depending when you're watching this video and if you're wanting getting into ASIC miners I just know that the Litecoin ASICs you know these are all about Litecoin first not Dogecoin anyways yeah the L7 I guess it's out and people have been getting it like D miners and so I have I'm I'm also hoping to get one from Crypto Miner Bros. I, I'm still in the process of talking to them about that, but looks like they got three different models here and they take about 3400 watts. Oh, that's crazy. And actually one thing I want to note for some people that may have pre-ordered this maybe last year and waited for a long time, they probably noticed that the L7s back then was able to generate, let's say, I think Voscoin has a video here, three new miners to buy that earn $250 per day. This was one month ago, okay? Voscoin made this video. Obviously, he doesn't he didn't have them, right? But he had an L L7 like in the video talking about it making about $250 a day. And look at it now, right? The L7 makes about $47, $45 a day. And so these numbers are all related to the price of the coin and the network hash rate. The network hash rate for Litecoin, assuming I don't know how many of these L7s are going to be on the network, but they're probably going to be a lot of these. And so that means the difficulty is going to rise. And thus, everyone's going to get less and less of the pie, essentially. Less Litecoin, uh, less, less Dogecoin, per se. And so as the hash rate keeps going up, and if the price of Litecoin, for instance, for doesn't go up and stays stagnant or goes down, then the profitability is going to go down, right? The number that you're seeing on ASIC minor value you're going to see these numbers go down if the market goes down. So it's all of that stuff. You know, there's a lot of different variables that equate to the profitability number here. And really, it all circles back to the prices of these things uh, to relative to how much they make. Right. 
And so, yeah, look at this. The, L3, the L7s the l now, it looks like the prices have, have been coming down a little bit. But I think at one point these things were going for like 40 grand or 30 grand or something. But now I think I see some like in, in stock here. Safety miner, million miner, $26,000, $24,000. That's crazy. Miner bro sells it for $20,000, right? So you see the prices here. Oh, mining cave sells it for 14. Dang, that's a price a little bit lower. But you can see a lot of people care about this number here that you see per day how much you're making per day it's kind of a thing right people talk about these asic miners last year um i think notably Voscoin, and i i i never made like i mean I, I never made a video dedicated to talking about the the price of the l7 yeah you can see here i, I just type in l I miner l7 and i don't talk about you know the profitability of an asic miner that's not even released that people don't even have because when people start getting them, that's when the profitability starts going down. And as the network hash rate rises, like I talked about before, the difficulty gets worse. That didn't happen all the time because even with last year, with the run-up that we had with Bitcoin for the whole year of 2021, ASIC mining was extremely profitable, assuming you had the hardware already, assuming you had the hardware during these times. And I have the videos to prove that. I have many, many videos showing that I broke even on my Z15 in four months. I broke even on my IB link in, uh, let's 69 days, right? I broke even on my InnoSilicon A10 Pro in, let's see, I think three months as well. My, my, ETH, my Ethereum ASIC miners broke even extremely fast because uh, 3.5 months, yeah, 3.5 months break even on the InnoSilicon A7, A10 Pro 7 gigabyte, I think, or 5 gigabyte. But yeah, things were extremely profitable back then because the prices of crypto were still relatively really high. They were really high. And thus also the network difficulty was still climbing, right? But it wasn't as high. It didn't go up as high as what the crypto prices were. And so the people that were able to, that were maybe mining during the bear market and already had the hardware, like, those people were just laughing because they were already able to attain all of this profitability because the prices of these coins were extremely good and the network hash rate wasn't as high yet and it was still going up as people were attaining the hardware. The same goes for when people were pre-ordering ASICs, I would say, throughout this whole time. Maybe if you pre-ordered during last year, 2020, you definitely would have made out like a bandit and broke even extremely fast like like the videos i showed you last year and now if we are still in a bull run or not i'm not quite sure or if we're in a better market another thing people are talking about we are still in a lower high if you zoom out right if you zoom out big picture here i'm not a trader i'm not a I, this is not financial advice uh, this is someone I, I i learned from i think benjamin cohen uh, he mentioned that you know we're, we're still in an uptrend here, I think if we break down below 30k, below the trend line, then that could be a you know a potential bear market scenario. And again, that's not financial advice. So, anyways, just to finalize, ASIC mining very expensive right now, still is, and when the prices of these things come down, it will be because the value of the coins have gone down, and also the profitability that you see on ASIC miner value is going to go down as well. Okay. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know an ASIC that you guys were able to attain and you were able to break even on it really fast. And or give me your not just only success stories, but give me your failures. I want to know. I, I've heard a lot of ASIC miner fa failures. Actually, that's one thing I've got to talk about, about ASIC mining. The last bear market of 2018 to 2020, but then the bull run, the bull run of 2017 where a lot of people may have bought ASICs, but never were able to recoup their money and had to liquidate because there's a massive drop all the way down to $3,000 Bitcoin. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Let me know your thoughts again. I'll see you all in the next video. I hope to have an ASIC miner uh, video up for you guys very soon regarding my S19J. Okay. And a little tiny box. So you guys stay tuned for that. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good one and peace out.